just simple steering wheel and go <laughs> all right <laughs> it's not the easiest thing to drive you need a bit of strength This is so cool. <laughs> A little bit tight. <laughs> so I've actually wanted to drive the combine, but my uncle goes, no way. You can sit on the bucket. <laughs> I'm like, well, at least I get to be in the combine during harvest. I haven't done that since I was uh, 11. It was uncomfortable then, and it's really uncomfortable now. Like, it's 30 degrees today, and it feels way worse. I'm sweating like mad, like I'm in a sauna, and I've definitely put on weight since I was 11 years old. So it was a little bit tight in there. But what an experience to have. I wish Lumi was here and got to enjoy this experience with us. It's a wonderful time of the year to be in Poland. Beautiful weather, harvest, fruit growing everywhere. I'm gonna struggle walking home now because I've got a kilometer to go with, with these fields. Behind here is my father's old field, which I used to love hanging out on when he was doing the harvest. There's an apple tree right there, which I'm gonna go and have a few apples because apparently it gives the best apples in town. Of course it does, because I used to pee under that tree for 10 years when I lived here. It's got some good genes in it. We've only got three days left in Poland. I'm gonna enjoy every moment I get. The only problem is to get to my apples. I gotta go for a field of stinging nettles. I don't know. My legs are uh, walking through the field and getting caught on the stems of the wheat is not the most comfortable thing in the world. Oh, I got stung. Stinging nettle. In Australia, we don't have this. There's a lot of things in Australia that are really annoying, like spider webs and things like that, which you sort of knock back, stinging nettles. And they're massive, look. This one's taller than me. I love Poland, but not this. Actually, you know what? I like the stinging metals and it nettles. It brings back memories, as painful as it is. Here's my father's old apple tree. Look at all those apples. Definitely gonna grab a couple for the road. Mum, two apples, and it's juicy as. It's so good. I hope you've been enjoying our Polish vlogs. I know I've enjoyed making them. The one thing you get to see a lot of is bochans, which is storks. They set up a nest, usually near a farm, on top of a pole, a telephone pole or a uh, chimney, and they have their nest there, lay eggs and breed new storks uh, and it's very lucky for a farmer to have a family of storks it brings good luck so they say but it's awesome because you can't see them well but there's a few of them flying around in circles they all follow the combines and wait for the mice and field mice rats and frogs to hop out of the way and they just literally walk behind the combine and as the mice and frogs jump out of the way they just grab them and so it's a it's a very big relationship here between animal life and wildlife because there are a lot of mice there's a lot of foxes there's a lot of rabbits uh, badgers deer there's a lot of moose running around and so although these other animals tend to destroy a lot of the crops um, the storks are one of those ones which just continue to live in harmony with the farmers because they do help out oh mark is coming to join me this is so beautiful did you go in the tractor sure did did you drive it? <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't let me drive either. No, I learned, I learned to drive in something very, very similar back in Australia. That was the first manual vehicle that I ever drove was, a, was an open top like uh, Massey Ferguson tractor. So that was oh. sort of pretty cool. That's bloody hot. I mean, you know what we need? People. People. And we have people. Let's go have a people.
was awesome driving the old girl. Not like I remember when I was really young with my grandfather. That was so cool. Woo! All right, everything's ticked off in Poland. like and share as you know I love my Polish farms and um, I haven't seen harvest day since we left Poland back in 1993 with an old bison uh, combine harvester so to see the new John Deere well not so new but my my uncle's old tractor that's been there since I was born and in the background is is my father's old field which is my happy place to be and I mean, we've got fighter jets flying around, MiG-29s. And our knees being absolutely destroyed by the cut wheat and stinging nettles. It's like fungi stuff. We're going to measure the wheat to determine its uh, dampness to see if, there's, if it's still too damp. Oh, you just get a sample. Mm-hmm. Shouldn't say it's the rough, no? So the uh, the farms have had a lot of rain recently and, and drought. So what it means is that the wheat fields are, are still a little bit too damp. Um, it's 14.6% as uh, my uncle says. So it needs to be around 14, 13 optimum. Um, but I mean they're still going there's combines all over the fields everywhere we look you can see dust clouds rising up so everyone's just going because there's more rain predicted more winds more drought they, they don't know when to actually they can go so they're just gonna they're just gonna take their chances but this is pretty cool like this big boy's been in the family since I remember I can't even remember when it was bought there's another old one out the back since it was here since I was born and they're still going Gdzie ten Ursus był budowany? On był w Polsce czy w Belarusi? Nie, Ursus to jest polska firma. I on był w Warszawie, w Ursusie było robione. To tak? była wersja już 12, 912, ale były jeszcze wersji ta 60, 335, no. ta 410, 40. A ta stara co tam stoi? Nie, to już Zetor, to już to jest czeski. 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 A te Ursusy to 16-12 już sprzętem napędem, to wszystko w Polsce produkowane było. Nigdy nie zepsuły się, co? Trzeba tylko motkiem. Nie. Trochę wódki. Nie, roz, trzeba było rozpoławiać, przecieki, a to sprzęgło. Nieraz to było ten. Ale jeszcze części można dokupić do niego? O, części możesz, wiesz, wszędzie, pełno, do no. Ursusa masz pełno. Też oni najczęściej Chiny brali na sam początku, nie? W 90 latach to dużo do Chin szło e, tych kursówców, bo to była najprostsza konstrukcja, nie? Tylko widzisz, już e, żadnej komfortu nie masz w kabinie, nie? 
nie masz żadnej klimy, nie masz, no nic, jak już gorąco, to tylko wiatraczek, albo tak, okres tego, tak. to już masakra jest. Tak. No. No, A w tym John Deere jest klima? O, ten go bajka, karo. ja teraz bym, <laughs> nie, wczor wczoraj, nie, przedwczoraj, że my talerzowałem tam 10 hektarów, Pajucha, to bo ci już leko, to mogę się możesz jeździć, nie? No. Like, alright, it's bloody hot. The combine's over there. The kiddie pool's over here. Wait, it's too cold. To jest najlepsza łoza. To jest najlepiej. We're we're gonna go in there in there with a beer. End of the day, Malvina, let's go for a beer and go for a swim. No way. Come on, no. keep it in the family. Six six psycho. Yeah, we are. <laughs> That's well worth it today. Uh, push, push on us, do you have more? Well, we were meant to swim in the Baltic. Yeah, we didn't make it. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, that's Malvisa.